Hello, this is Carl with another glorious road review. Um, tonight, I'm staying at the Baymont Inn and Suites. It's a, a very acceptable and prestigious hotel for my particular you know, cast, if you will. And uh, lighting's probably really bad. Usually lighting's pretty bad in most of my videos, though, so you should be used to it. But my humble viewers, my fellow journeymen and women, I'm your spiciest and humblest of uncles. And tonight, I, uh, it's Christmas Eve, I'm traveling, and I'm in glorious uh, Clarksville, Kentucky. Nope, not Kentucky, it's Tennessee, I apologize. It's right on the border, I get confused sometimes. Clarksville, Tennessee. And, um, you know, I everything was closed. You know, I couldn't get anything that uh, I kind of wanted to try. I saw a billboard advertisement for the McRib, and I really kind of wanted to try the McRib, and just nothing's open except for Waffle House. And uh, did I get some? Absolutely. But I've already had that. You know what I get, and you know what I think about it. So, I had to get some gas, and um, there's a new sunflower seed flavor out. Now, when I'm driving, I love eating on sunflower seeds. It's something I can put in my mouth really and then I take like an empty uh, Coke bottle or something similar and uh, what I do is I just spit into it until it fills up I throw it away. This is a relatively new Coke bottle. I had to drink it so I could do this for you. This is kind of how I do things with the sunflower seeds but I do this a lot. I usually get the ranch and I love the Frito-Lay uh, style of um, sunflower seed. I like the little tube it comes in. Um, I think they're better, at least the ranch flavoring is better than David's sunflower seeds or, you know, whatever, or any off-brand that is. But that's just my particular preference. Um, I really like Frito-Lay's brand of sunflower seeds. They're a little bit more intense and crunchier and just the, the actual seed itself is uh, quite rewarding at the end of all that work. So I consider myself somewhat of a connoisseur of a sunflower seed. I'm talking a lot, so I'm going to just go ahead and open this one. It's flat. Flamas. I guess that's Spanish for flame. And I'm guessing these are going to be hot. And these are supposed to be salty and full of flavor and then kind of bland at the end. So I'm going to judge it against what a flavored sunflower seed tastes like, you know? I mean, I know what I'm expecting here, but we'll see if it matches that expectation. I'm, I'm thinking they usually do good, but I've never seen these in the market before. Oh, before we get started. I bought this. I don't have a glass to put it in, but we're going to wash this down tonight with Evan Williams. That's the only thing they had left at this particular high-class gas station I went to. So let's go ahead and cheers and Merry Christmas to yours and yours truly. To you and yours truly. I'm really tired from the road. You know how I get when I get on the road. That'll do. That'll do. So these are really red. They uh, they look kind of intimidating. Almost. Gosh. Um, my writer Zach is just gonna kill me for me, you know, biffing this whole scenario. He had such a great idea, and I just I just didn't do it well. My producer, um, who shall remain nameless. At this moment, I shouldn't even mention my writer's name, but nonetheless. It's not a good video so far. So I get a handful of them sticking in a cheek right there. I eat the sunflower seed, transfer it to the other cheek, and spit it out. And then at the end, I have a ball of, of, of sunflower seeds in my other cheek, and just munch it all together and then swallow a whole bolus uh, it's a new word for you, of um, seed. Hmm. I'm going to spit into a bottle. Now, obviously I'm expecting these to be hot. Um, you know, and they are spicy, 
There's really not that much of a flavor to them though. I mean, they're salty and a little bit spicy, but it's not like a barbecue or like a jalapeno or anything like that. Almost a little bit citrusy in a weird way. I know it sounds odd, but it's kind of what I'm tasting here. Um, but the burn isn't that intense. You know, as sunflower seeds go, these are, um, I don't know, it's hard to really describe because I mean I don't really have anything, I've never had a really spicy sunflower seed so I really don't have uh, anything to judge it against, uh, absolutely. But what I'll tell you about the ranch flavoring and like what I expect ranch to taste like versus what the sunflower seed ranch tastes like. I like the ranch sunflower seeds. It's like ranch seasoning all over some sunflower seeds. Um, very salty, very good, and um, probably not good for you. But uh, I, I, I rate those generally about like an 8.5 um, in terms of snackiness. You know, like it's a good snack for me. I personally enjoy it. So those, that's what I'm kind of got to go on right there. Um, so for these, nothing's really throwing it out for me. I mean, I would say that mainly that there's really not much flavor to it. It's just kind of a spice, maybe a hint of citrusy, and um, that's pretty much it. Um, but it's not overwhelmingly spicy. There's nothing like to, to really... Um, distinguish this between anything that maybe just has like a little bit of Tabasco sauce or something similar on that. So what I'm going to rate this is a 6.53. So 6.53 is I think a fair rating for this because there's nothing special but it's you know it's still a good snack but it's a good quality sunflower seed. I have about four in this cheek and then I got a whole bunch to go. So Anyway, that's why I'm just going to rate it, and we're going to leave it at that. Merry Christmas. Again, God bless, and we'll see you soon on the Spicy Carl Network. Take care.